this right here in the middle of the week. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You let me come right into your heart with these, these thoughts for you to ponder on. But as always on Wednesday, I take a little time to say, hey, I do word studies with pastor at six o'clock today. Tune in with that. I'm ministering on the subject of faith. All right. I think you'll be blessed if, if you want an extended version of the six o'clock teaching, then seven o'clock live right here, right here at Message of Church in Fenton, Missouri, 602 Summit Road. If you're in my area, we'd love for you to come receive some of what God is saying in the Wednesday night teaching. There's always, always such a sweet spirit in that Wednesday night service. Not some of the biggest crowds we have around here, but then God doesn't go by crowd anyhow. He goes by hunger. They that hunger and thirst after righteousness are going to be the ones that are going to be filled. I have no problem telling you that the pandemic affected our attendance. We've got people that are still not returning back to church, but it hasn't stopped the move of God. It hasn't stopped the salvations, the healings, the deliverance, the infilling. We're still believing God for all of that. I'm not a quitter. I don't back up, back up, back away. Amen. I stand on the word of God where he said, one to plant, one to water, he'll give the increase. And, and hear this pastor, I'm more concerned about your spiritual increase than I am your natural or your carnal increase because everything you can touch right here is going to disappear. But what goes on in your heart and in your life is eternal, and that's going to last forever. I'm more interested in you being ready for the rapture of the church than I am in you getting rich and living in a 25-bedroom house down here that you don't even need. All right, done said enough about that. That's not my ponder this, but it come out anyhow. Be with us tonight. I'll be talking about faith. Let's go. Let's go into this. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Now, 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 notice something there. And you need to notice it, all right? Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing, okay? And then he said, this should not be. But notice what was in the middle of that. Notice, notice. He said, my brothers and sisters, all right? James, the apostle, is talking to the church there. He's talking to brothers and sisters, other Christians. He's saying, listen, guys. You're opening your mouth and inserting your foot. You try to praise God out of one bread and then talk about your brother out of the other bread. You're, you're, you're lifting God up and criticizing someone else who happens to be a child of God. He said, this should not be going on. He's talking to the church to, to speak or write words of praise or blessing or curse is a choice. You choose you choose to bless. I choose to bless you. I want to tell you good things that are going on. Here, here, here we are. Here we are. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Woo! Hallelujah! I feel like I need to, I need to share that again because, because you, you didn't know it was coming. Okay. So I want to start in the beginning, <laughs> give it to you from number six and 24, 26 NLT. Notice it may the Lord bless and protect you, you, every one of you that's listening to me right now. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. I'm speaking this to you. I'm speaking blessings into your heart. I'm speaking blessings into the in your life. I'm not interested in telling you how bad you are. I'm not interested in telling you what a rough past you have. I want to talk to you in the here and now, and I want to tell you right now that I want the Lord to smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor, and may, may he give you his peace. His peace. His peace is eternal, and no one nor anything can take God's peace and get rid of it. Woo! Hallelujah. Ponder on that, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. Next time, I'll be right here tomorrow. We'll see you then. <laughs>